Hello friends, this video on cell, the unit of life, part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next cell organelle that we are going to talk about is Golgi apparatus. So let us see what are Golgi apparatus. Now the name might be a little weird to you. What is this Golgi? Basically this was named after the scientist Camillo Golgi who described them for the first time and since that time it is called Golgi apparatus. Some of them also use the term Golgi bodies for them or Golgi complex. So these were named after Camillo Golgi who first described it. It is a network of membrane bound vesicles arranged parallel to each other in stacks called cisterns. So what are vesicles? Vesicles are nothing but containers which are bound by membranes. So here if you see these are all vesicles and they are arranged parallel to each other. You can see this is one, two, three, four. They are all arranged parallel to each other called cistern. So each of these is known as cistern. So this is the name given to each of them. So this is how it looks like. It is located near nucleus in animal cells. Again, this is also as, as we already discussed in the previous slide. If this is your nucleus, just next to nucleus, you have your rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is connected to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And where the smooth endoplasmic reticulum ends, there starts the Golgi apparatus. So it is also quite near to the nucleus. Now, these are mostly seen in cells that are actively involved in secretion of chemical products. So secretion is the key word for Golgi apparatus. Their main function is secretion. Now, what do they secrete that we will see very soon. Now, in plants also, this Golgi bodies are present in both plants as well as animals. In plants, the way they are arranged is little different and that is why they are often termed as Golgi bodies or dictyosomes in plants. They are freely distributed in plants and that is why they are often known as dictyosomes. That is a different name for Golgi bodies in plants. So now the question is, is it found in all the cells or is it like it is found in certain cells and it is not found in some other cells? There are a few exceptions to the cells where they are not found. Even though in general they are found in all plant and animal cells, but there are a few exceptions to it. And the exceptions are sperm cells of bryophytes and pteridophytes, sperm cells of animals, RDCs that is the red blood cells of animals, cells of some fungi and prokaryotes. These are some of the organisms or these are some of the cells where Golgi bodies are not found. Now let us look at the structure of Golgi apparatus. There are three main components as far as the structure is concerned. Cisternae, which are nothing but fluid filled sac like structure which are stacked in piles parallel to each other. Those these structures which I told you right, these kind of structures which are arranged parallel to each other. So they are known as cisternae. They are arranged in concentric fashion near the nucleus. So let us suppose if this is the nucleus, this is the way they are arranged. In a concentric, concentric means if this is the center, the circles are arranged like this, around the center. Now since it is arranged in such a fashion, there are two faces of the cistern. One is cis face and the other one is the trans face. So what is cis face and what is trans face, we will quickly see in the picture. So if you look at this picture, this is the trans phase and this is the cis phase. So the cis phase is the forming phase. So this phase towards the nucleus and this phase away, goes away from the nucleus. So if this is the nucleus, this phase will be towards nucleus and this phase will be away from the nucleus. So the name given to these two phases are cis phase and trans phase. Cis phase is also known as forming phase and trans phase is also known as maturing phase. Now the next important component is tubules. They are a network of tube-like structures arising from peripheral area of cistern. So here if you see this is the peripheral area and here you can see some tube-like structures arising. So they are called tubules. 
There are vesicles that is membrane bound to containers. Some appear as dense granules in cytoplasm. So these are the vesicles. See here they are like containers. These are all vesicles. So these are the three important components of Golgi apparatus, cistern, tubules and vesicles. Now the number of cistern in a Golgi apparatus can vary. I mean it is different in different cells. Again when you talk about the cis and trans phases, they are also different. One is towards the nucleus and the other one is away from the nucleus. But they are connected to each other. That means if this is one Golgi apparatus, this is the cis and this is the trans. But they are also connected to each other internally. Let us see where is the Golgi apparatus present in animal cells. So this is an animal cell and where do we see the Golgi apparatus? Here it is. So this is Golgi apparatus. So if you see this phase is towards the nucleus, this phase is away from the nucleus. So they are the cis and trans phases. Similarly, let us have a look at them in plant cell. So where do we have the Golgi bodies in plant? See here in plant cell, this is your Golgi apparatus. But there are small scattered Golgi bodies as well, which are known as Golgi vesicles. And they are the containers which I was talking about. So this is your Golgi body. So here also you see this face is towards the nucleus and this face is away from the nucleus. Now let us look at the significance of Golgi apparatus. Materials manufactured in endoplasmic reticulum is dispatched to various parts you inside or outside the cell through Golgi apparatus. Now what happens basically is that the packaging happens at the Golgi apparatus. So endoplasmic reticulum is the place where protein synthesis takes place, where lipid synthesis takes place. So materials get manufactured. Materials are nothing but lipids and proteins. They get manufactured in endoplasmic reticulum. But then they need to be transported to different parts throughout the cell. So who will transport them? In order to get transported, they, the materials need to be packaged as well. For example, when you order something online or suppose if you want to send a courier, you want to courier a book to your friend. So what do you do? You go to the courier service and give them the book. So how will they send it? Will they just send the book just like that from Delhi to Bangalore? No. What They will first pack it. So packaging will take place. They'll put it in, inside a box. They'll, they will wrap the box. They'll put the address. Then they'll send it. So that packaging takes place at the courier center. So similarly here in this case, materials get manufactured in endoplasmic reticulum. But the packaging of the material happens in Golgi apparatus. And from Golgi apparatus, it is then dispatched to the required locations via vesicles. So the transport vesicles will then carry them to the required destination. And th that is why I, I said you right long back that there these four together form the endomembrane system. That is why they are because they are proper, I mean their functions are coordinated. So see here the Golgi apparatus function depends on the materials which were manufactured in ER. So they are related to each other. So basically how this uh, entire process take place in endoplasmic reticulum lipids and proteins are synthesized so they will be passed to the cis phase so the cis phase will receive those materials from the cis phase it will pass through the cisternae after that the cisternae will come from the cisternae it will reach the trans phase so there it will reach the trans phase and from trans phase, it will go to outside. Right? So that is how the process takes place. Clear? So it starts from endoplasmic reticulum and then it is transferred to different parts of the cell. Now, what happens when it is within the Golgi apparatus while it is passing through the cisternae? Modification of proteins also take place. Now, before the proteins are dispatched from Golgi apparatus, some of the proteins are also modified as and when required. So those modifications also take place in Golgi apparatus. Storage of various cellular secretions, for example, enzymes, proteins, cellulose, etc. So they, it, it is used to store these things as well in the form of vesicles. Now, 
synthesis of lysosomes they synthesize lysosomes which which will talk the next topic they are nothing but uh, they contain all the digestive enzymes so they are produced by golgi apparatus the secretion being the most important property of golgi apparatus the secretory proteins and lipids are packed into secretory vesicles now the pectin of cell wall in plants is also secreted by golgi apparatus so these are also some of the important properties which make uh, golgi apparatus very very significant thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors Thank you once again.